live from Midtown Manhattan. The Cube's live coverage of Big Data NYC, a Silicon Angle Wikibon production. Made possible by Hortonworks, We Do Hadoop, and Wham Disco, Hadoop Made Invincible. And now your co-hosts, John Furrier and Dave Vellante. Hi, everybody. This is Dave Vellante with Jeff Kelly. Uh, we're with Wikibon.org, and this is Silicon Angles The Cube with our continuous coverage of Big Data NYC, our own production, really. We're across the street from the Hilton Hotel where Hadoop World is going on and Stratacomp. This is our fourth year covering this event, and uh, we want to thank our sponsors, Wan Disco and, and Hortonworks, for making this possible. And uh, we had a great party last night. Uh, I'm here with, uh, with Jeff. Uh, Cube party was amazing. Had a couple hundred people here. Some awesome you know, business conversations going on, people talking about the Hadoop ecosystem, and really it was a lot of fun seeing uh, many of our friends, a lot of the Cube alums and, and, and future Cube guests. It was just really fantastic. So thanks everybody for, for coming to that and look forward to other events uh, in the future. So we're here, this is day two and a half here at Big Data NYC. We started on Monday evening and then really sort of did a little warm up. And then yesterday, <clears throat> we had a number of guests really talking about the evolution of Hadoop, how the infrastructure is emerging, how, you know, we've seen diverging opinions. You know, some say the infrastructure wars are over, the distribution wars are over, others, you know, debate that. Um, but clearly, there's still a lack of, of really commercial grade applications. A lot of people are having to build, build those applications themselves. Uh, there are a lot of, still a lot of talk about skill set gaps, but. We're down in the financial services sector, you know, capital of the world and, and Wall Street, and clearly, Jeff Kelly, this segment of the world is picking up on Hadoop, they're picking up on big data, trying to understand and understanding the value that data can bring in areas like risk management, obviously like in marketing, and ultimately working toward fraud. So, mm -hmm. what's your take on everything that's going on this week? Well, uh, it's an exciting week, as you said. Uh, it's, it's interesting, we're hearing the conversation around uh, Hadoop change a little bit. We uh, uh, Scott Hauser, a friend of ours, I, th I believe, uh, uh, last night mentioned something like we're hearing less about kind of you know are you using Hadoop to what distribution are you using? So it's uh, it's moving the conversation's moving into how do we make this production great? How do we scale this out? How do we do real things with it uh, that are going to impact the business? And as you said, financial services is one area, uh, which you know th they were one of the early adopters. I think of this technology they've you know been a very data intensive business for a long time. Um, with CEP engines and kind of real-time trading. And now that you can bring, they can scale out those kind of solutions thanks to Hadoop and other technologies in the big data space, uh, just trying to improve those capabilities and add new ones. So uh, a lot happening and some good stuff. Now, um, so I want to uh, just let you guys know, so John Furry is going to be here in, in a minute. Right now he's setting up uh, a crowd chat. So I don't know if you guys follow the Stratacomf hashtag yesterday, but it was, it was really spammy. Uh, it looked like you know, kind of the hashtag that you'd see at the Oscars or the Super Bowl, just moving really fast, a lot of spammers hitting in. So John Furrier right now is setting up a, a crowd chat daily that will allow us to go to a spam-free zone and have a conversation about big data and Hadoop. Uh, we're going to use the Stratacomf hashtag, but so go to crowdchat.net, crowdchat.net, and you'll see we've set up a crowd chat on Stratacomf. So go in there, we'll be posting questions, We'll be reviewing the Cube guests, the epic moments on the Cube, and we'll be putting forth some key comments that Cube guests make all day. We'd love to hear from you. It's a spam-free zone. Spam bots cannot get in. You've got to sign in to actually post within this crowd chat. So check out crowdchat.net. Uh, John Furrier's here. John, you know, welcome. That was a great idea that you had setting that up. Great party last night. You know, what's going on? Great, Dave. Thanks. Uh, good morning, everyone. The, uh yeah, crowdchat.net, we're going to set this up right now. I'm in the process of putting the logo up. And uh, we'll do three hours, I think three hours open chat for the morning. Uh, but, you know, things are going great, Dave. Last night we had our big data event uh, here. It was more of an appreciation event. We had the commemorative cube shot glasses, our first ever commemorative giveaway. Uh, we, uh, uh, C-Sense won the grand prize of the Nexus 7, which we gave away. And not, you know, just a small token of our appreciation for the community and, and support of the cube. Again, that was sponsored by Hortonworks and Wayne Disco. Great supporters of the community, certainly supporting the Cube and what our mission is. We, we love those guys. So great, great day. Yesterday, a lot of action, a lot of great conversations. Today, we're going to try to document these conversations both here on the Cube, these conversations on the Cube, as well as on the CrowdChat. So go to crowdchat.net. You'll see 
upcoming crowd chat. We're going to you know, get that on Twitter as well. We're going to just, just you know, do some real-time uh, conversation documentation, get this uh, on the network, and again, see, looking for engagement, retweets, et cetera. We're looking for conversations. Go to crowdshot.net. But great, great lineup today, Dave. We have an amazing, amazing set of guests. We're going to have uh, uh, Sean Connolly, uh, VP of Corporate Strategy at Hortonworks, and that should be a very interesting conversation. Love talking strategy. Love talking about the chessboard. Certainly, you know, things are starting to settle in uh, relative to the, to the market. Um, and you know, Hortonworks plays a good strategy game, but more importantly, you know, they've never changed course on their strategy, so I want to hear what he thinks about the moves. More importantly, people are making money now, Dave, so that's a, the big conversation throughout yesterday, last night, and through today. We're going to talk about the business opportunity, the business case, or TAM, as you say. Yeah, we, you know what else, John? We have the Dean of Big Data coming in, uh, Bill Schmarzo. As, uh, you named him the Dean of, dean of Big Data. He's got some books that he's going to sign, so we're looking forward to having uh, Bill on. And, well, we're going to have also a couple of notables. Uh, Spotify is going to come in. Very successful conversation yesterday around their use case of, of Hadoop. Uh, we're also going to have some folks from Apache come in as well, the Apache Software Foundation. Because we want to really, you know, to me it's, what's interesting is, is that, you know, the, the open source business model isn't your grandfather's open source business model like it was. A lot of similarities with Red Hat, a lot of similarities with JBoss and other uh, successful open source uh, products. But at the end of the day, uh, a new modern era is, is kicking in. So that's what we're looking forward to. Awesome. So, uh, we're going to get started right away. Sean Conley's coming up from Hortonworks, so keep it right there. We're right back. This is The Cube. John Furrier, Dave Vellante, and Jeff Kelly. We'll be right back. The Cube is a live mobile studio. We bring it to events and we say we extract the signal from the noise. What we do is we get the absolute best guests that are at those events, we bring them inside the cube, and we talk to them, we have a conversation. We really want to 